Hi guys! It's been such a long time since we last did a tablet review. So that's what we're going to do today. Also, I cut off all of my hair. Because... Why not? <laughs> so fluffy now! Okay, so today we're going to look at the XP Pen Innovator 16 and this is the Anniversary Edition. It has 8 Express keys as well as 2-in-1 Dial Express ring. I'll show you how that works. It supports tilt on the stylus. The tablet is less than a centimeter tall. Height. Um... It's ultra slim, 9 millimeters, <laughs> And it also comes with a portable stand and all the cables necessary. And let me just... And let me just start off by saying that you will need a computer for this tablet. This is not a standalone tablet. It will require some kind of computer, PC, laptop or a Mac to be hooked up to in order to work. So without further ado, let's start with an unboxing. Then I'll show you some tests and then we'll do a little drawing demonstration. So let's get started! The XP Pen Innovator Display 16 is a 15.6 inch full HD drawing monitor that is conveniently designed for drawing on the go. Bring it along with your laptop and draw from anywhere. The stylus is battery free and you can power the tablet directly through your computer's USB port. Taking a look into the box's content, we first find the innovator itself. And further down we find the stand. It can only be adjusted to one level, but it does the job. Next up is the familiar cylinder, which contains the stylus, but we'll get back to that in a moment. In this white box here, you will find some anniversary items from XP Pen, along with a drawing glove if you're into wearing those. I personally don't use them, but if you need it, there you go. <laughs> the box also contains the cables and we'll look into them a bit later as well. As part of their anniversary edition, you also get this pretty cool pen that actually feels really nice to write with. There's also a cloth to keep your new best friend clean. As well as a thank you card, a warranty policy and the quick setup guide, which you should definitely keep nearby, okay? <laughs> and lastly, there's some cute artwork with XP Pen's mascot that is also part of the anniversary edition. Out here to the left are all of the power supplies. This one here is the actual power supply. And if you want to power your tablet using this instead of your computer, pick the outlet that fits in your country and connect it to the power supply. Now let's take a look at the stylus. In one of these caps on the cylinder, you'll find eight additional pin nips. Unscrew the other cap and you'll find this stylus. Its design has been slightly updated and it has a really nice rubber surface so it doesn't slide away from your grip. Comparing it to the stylus of the XP Pen Artist 22R Pro, the main difference is the shape at the bottom of the stylus and the nib on the Innovator's stylus feels a bit more firm, which is a major plus in my book because I prefer firm styluses over bouncy ones. The stylus has over 8000 pressure levels and it supports up to 60 degrees tilt. The portable stand is designed to reduce shakiness while you draw, to provide a better view angle as well as a more comfortable position for your hand to work in. It has only one level as I mentioned earlier and it's super thin and light and you can fold it back together so you can easily bring this with you on the go as well. The Innovator 16 display itself is wrapped in two layers of protective foil that you should remove first. I'm disengaging my party mode because it's time to set up this baby. The cables are designed as a 3-in-1 solution, so they're easy to manage at home as well as on the fly. To connect the Innovator 16 display to your computer, you must have an available HDMI port, 
as well as at least one USB port, but two of them if you want to power the innovator directly through your computer. If you want to use the power supply, you only need to have one available USB port. Then you simply connect the USB-C to your tablet. That's the only cable going into the tablet. There's also a USB extender if you need to extend, for instance, the cable to the power supply. In the quick guide, you can see exactly how to set up the tablet with your computer. After hooking up the HDMI, a USB and the power on the back of my PC, it's time to connect the innovator and start it up. But, uh, um, mm, <laughs> the USB-C fits like a glove, and I mean a very tight and precise glove <laughs> into the tablet. The entrance is so perfectly matched to the cable that it actually took me a few tries to finally get it in there. <laughs> so satisfying though. And we are now officially up and running. After turning on your tablet, navigate to XPPen's website and download the driver for your operating system. You can choose either Windows, iOS or a beta for Linux. I've installed enough XPPen tablets to know that installation actually means installation path and install is the actual installment button. Remember to remove absolutely all previous tablet drivers before doing this. And after you install the driver, I recommend you restart your computer before doing anything else. Now you can access the tablet's driver called Pen Tablet. And here you can change the pressure sensitivity, calibrate the tablet and set up all your shortcuts. Note that as a default, your tablet may be assigned to your primary monitor. So remember to change the work area out here to be to your tablet's monitor or just set your tablet to be your main monitor when it's attached. I usually do that. You can adjust the tablet's brightness on the two buttons on the side of the tablet. I like to work with it on full brightness because it brings out the colors better. Here's a little sped up run through of me setting up the eight express keys. I like to have a shortcut for flipping my canvas, a color picker, brush, eraser, zoom in and out, undo and redo. You can choose from XPPen's default shortcuts in this huge panel, or you can type in your own, also with modifiers such as Shift and Control and Alt, in this text field. The two-in-one dial ring can be used for, for instance, changing your brush size. So put in your shortcuts for increase brush size and decrease brush size here. You can look up these shortcuts in your drawing software. Mine are comma and period. You can see at the bottom of the screen here how the shortcuts react to me using the dial. The second dial is the black one in the middle, which is controlled by touch. The very first impression from drawing on the Innovator 16 was that it felt like a huge upgrade from my current tablet, which is the Artis 22R Pro, also from XPPen. I actually recently borrowed a Wacom Cintiq 24 HD for a whole month, and I have to admit, personally, this feeling of the Innovator gets pretty darn close to that. So let's do a few quick tests before moving on to the drawing demonstration. First is the jitter test, also known as the diagonal line test. You use a ruler with your stylus to see how much the cursor jitters when you draw slowly along the ruler. I found that the innovator felt very reliable, very much the same amount of jitter as my Arches 22R Pro, which I hardly ever notice at all, to be honest. Testing the response time. This was one of the tests I was most concerned with because all of my other XP Pen tablets I've had, and that's free now, they have all had trouble picking up the initial few milliseconds of the stylus, and that has been the biggest critique I have expressed about this brand personally. But hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, the Innovator 16 seems to have fixed this. Hallelujah! <laughs> Let's check out how much parallaxing we can detect. For the time I've been using XP Pen's products, I have never felt like parallaxing was their big issue. 
And on this one, the Innovator 16, the parallaxing is so tiny you barely notice it at all. In general, it just feels good and intuitive to draw on the Innovator 16 display. And here I'm just trying to discover the perfect amount of pressure. That's the sensitivity setting where it allows you to draw very thin and fine lines, but adding pressure gives you thicker lines and the transition should feel somewhat seamless. I found that my personal preferred sensitivity on the Innovator 16 is one tick towards firm. And lastly, I was just checking if it is required to use a lot of smoothing to produce nice lines, but I found it wasn't really necessary at all. There's so little jitter that I could just work with no smoothing at all. But depending on the drawing software you use, it might be a bit different, so you might need to add a little bit of smoothing, again, depending on what software you're using. So now it's time to move on to the drawing demonstration. And this is also the time where I will share some more personal thoughts as well as my conclusion about the Innovator 16 display tablet as well as where you can get it because right now, <laughs> as I'm uploading this video, there is a discount but it's almost running out. So let's move on. The full one and a half hours footage at only 150% speed will be available on my Patreon in the upcoming term if you're interested. Sign up to at least the hero tier before October 1st, 2020 to receive the term that this video is in. It will be uncut and almost at real time. So, <clears throat> first of all, you can also use this tablet if you're left-handed. You'll just have to flip it over, like flip it around uh, 100 and, whoa, 180 degrees. And then inside the tablet's driver, you will also need to flip the display. But then you're set up to use it with your left hand as well. Another thing I realized that is a major plus in my book is the fact that this tablet didn't get too heated, even after using it for a couple of hours. But more importantly, the heat was mostly noticeable over by the express keys, which means my hand doesn't get overheated for no reason. I'm not sure why, but when my hand gets too heated when I'm drawing, it starts to hurt like a mmm, like a mmm. <laughs> it starts to hurt. A lot. <laughs> so the fact that it gets heated in the side of the tablet I rarely use is just amazing. My general impression of the screen's quality was really good. Everything appeared nice and crisp and I think the colors are very well represented as well. There is little to none texture on the screen, especially compared to the previous model, so this one does feel a little more like glass. But the stylus felt so nice on the surface, so after drawing for like 10 minutes, I didn't really think about it anymore. I especially love that they continue to use these dial rings. Once I tried my first tablet with a dial ring, I have not wanted to go back to not having one. And this one had two features in one dial ring and they both worked as you would expect. I actually didn't have any weird hiccups with the Innovator 16 so far. If you've owned a drawing tablet of any kind before, you know that they can be a bit tricky to install regardless of the brand. Heck, I even had trouble setting up the Wacom Cintiq Pro I borrowed a few months back, so it is just a general tablet thing. But in general, the Innovator performs extremely well. I have seen a few reviews on the tablet myself, even before I knew I was going to review it. And in one of them, they mentioned that they experienced a little bit of delay in its reaction. Like I mentioned before that I was a bit concerned about as well. But honestly, I was so positively surprised because I didn't experience any noticeable delay. I tried comparing the specs of the Innovator 16, the Artist 15.6 Pro and the Artist 22R Pro in terms of report rate and response time. On paper, the 22R Pro and Innovator 16 are superior in specs over the 15.6 Pro and the Artist 22R Pro is, again on paper, the one with the best specs. However, my honest and personal opinion is that the Innovator 16 is the superior one. So much in fact that I am replacing my 22R Pro with the Innovator 16 as of this moment. And that's really hard for me because you know, ouch, you know I like big screens. But the feeling of the Innovator 16 just happens to be so much better. And in the end, that means more to me than the size of the screen. The Innovator 16 is by the time I'm publishing this video, 
the drawing monitor that I have tried that comes closest to the Wacom Cintiq Pro. Excluding my iPad Pro and Apple Pencil from this comparison because that's a portable drawing tablet with its own iOS and it's just in its very own league. So right now in terms of drawing tablets that you will need with a computer, the Innovator 16 is in my opinion the best competitor and alternative to Wacom Cintiq. I know there are lots of other tablets out there I haven't tried so it's only based on tablets I have in my possession or have had previously. And it's based on my own experiences, naturally. And this video is getting in the game a bit late, but until September 14th, 2020, XP Pen is still celebrating their anniversary. And that means that this tablet right now has a discount on it. So from now and until their anniversary ends, you can get the Innovator 16 for $399. I'll put the links in the description if you want to check it out for yourself or just check out more specs on this tablet. <sighs> Breathe. <Ugh. laughs> so, <laughs> there's not much more to say. I think I've concluded what I wanted to conclude. This is my new main tablet for the time being. I'm really happy about it. And thanks to XP Pen for sending it over for my honest and personal way to review stuff. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, found it informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll do what I can to get back to as many people as possible. So that was it from me for this time. And I'm excited to see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.